Hey everybody, Jackson here from the Zip Guys, here for another Zip Tip. Today we're going over the different ways to view and add forms inside of your Zip Form account. When we first log in to our Zip Form account, we see on the top level menu bar that there is a Forms option. Although this is a quick way to open and view the CAR standard forms, we don't recommend using this option to fill out forms for use in a transaction. When we click on the Forms tab, we are brought into the new form editor. Because there are no forms selected or added to the workspace, we will need to click the Add a Form button to bring up the form library. From here, we have access to all of our form libraries. We can select the forms that we want to view. Then click Close to move on. You will notice that the area at the top of the window that normally displays the transaction name is not there. Even though the form editor looks and functions as if we are in a transaction, we have not saved any of our work and we are not working in a transaction yet. We can see this fact as well when we try to take certain actions in the editor. For example, when we click Prepare Signing, we're prompted to save changes to a transaction before we can move on. We will click back to get out of the form editor. The other two ways to open and view the CAR standard form library is from within a transaction. Click New to start the new transaction. Complete all the steps and fill in all the details to start your new transaction. From the Summary tab of the transaction, we will use the All Forms menu to access our form libraries. Click on the forms that you would like to add to the transaction. Another way to add forms to a transaction is to use the Add Dock button on the menu bar. Click Add Form to open up the All Forms menu. To add forms to the transaction from within the form editor, we will start by clicking on the Add button. Click on Form Libraries. Then click Add next to the form that you want to add to the transaction. Click Close to return to the editor. Stay tuned for more Zip Tips from the Zip Guys.